Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Okay, it's got a laser beam on it. I see it's got spuds on it. No, 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 okay, it's not shooting at me. No, wait, what's that? No, 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 don't shoot lasers at me. Stop that. Uh-oh. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with another Creations episode. Now today, we are going to be going where no Scrap Mechanic person has gone before. Well, actually, I'm, I'm totally lying about that. Everybody's been to the Skybox, but today... We're going to be taking this awesome jetpack up there. Now, I have many other great creations. I'll link them down in the description if you want to download anything that you see in this episode here today. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, Mr. Garbuckle 3000 is back once again. And we have a stable jetpack. It uses the uh, Brent Batch stabilizer for super stable flight. And yeah. I don't know if I've found a, a jetpack that I necessarily really like in Scrap Mechanic yet. Uh, well, I don't say that I don't like them, or one that I can control, so I'm hoping Mr. Garbuckle changes my mind here today. Now, I do- wait, where'd the backpack go? Did it just go in his butt, or- oh, hold on, let's get out of that real quick. Okay, backpack is there, all the little uh, metal scrap or whatever that is, is up at the top. Okay, let's get- Okay, that's weird. Now, before we blast off, I do want to say that I am currently working on a little bit of a project. It's kind of a slow process, so hopefully I'll be able to reveal that to you guys here in Scrap Mechanic within the next week, week or two, maybe? But, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get moving here and- oh. Oh, that is super stable. <laughs> this actually looks kind of odd. Wait, is there any- uh, so wait, something's wrong here. I don't think I'm hearing any jets. Hold on, let's get real close. Uh, hold on, W, A, uh, oh, wait, what's going on with the backpack there? Alright, so, this thing has no noise. That's interesting. Okay, so, your up is your two key, your down is your three key, it is WASD. You can see the, uh, the Brent Batch module right there with the, uh, with the suspension pieces in it. This is stable, like this, okay, I actually do like this. Uh, it's kind of weird, like I, I pictured the jetpack actually tilting forward and like shooting off, but this is fine too. Uh, I think, okay, it's got Pico, I think they're called Pico, or Micro Thrusters on it. I don't wonder if we kick those up a little bit. I feel like we need to be moving a little bit faster forward, and I have faith in the, uh, the Brent Batch stabilizers to keep this stable. Alright, so we're on the ground again. Okay, so that's pretty minimal right there. What if we were to go there? Okay, so let's hop back in the, uh, wait, why is there a sensor right there? That looks a little uncomfortable. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're back in hover mode. Okay, let's go up. And now let's go forward. Uh, wait. Is that not the forward thruster? Hold on. Huh. It won't, it's like it's stuck at one speed here. Okay, so is there another thruster that's pushing this forward? I can't really tell. I can't pick this thing apart. It looks like it's got some sort of a WASD, maybe the mod. Yeah, you can see the AD right there on the sides. Uh, those are the uh, little logic gates. Yeah, the mods are getting a little crazy here, but nonetheless, a very cool creation. All right, all thrusters are increased. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the up speed I was looking for. Okay, it's still got the down speed. I don't know, I can't find the forward one. Oh, okay, there's one of the side ones. It's so weird because you would think that the back one's the forward or the W, uh, but it actually isn't, so it must be tucked away. So, okay, it can do this now. Uh, that's stable enough. We didn't get the speed that I was looking for, but we definitely do have the turning speed now. And now we just look like a Beyblade or something. Uh, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny looking. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, what happens if we just let this thing go? All right, ready? Hop out! Oh, huh, that's weird. All right, well, you know, very cool creation. Yeah, I think there's one stuffed right there. I better not take this apart, it might explode the world. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, we got some really cool stuff to check out here today. We've got a uh, float plane. I've got some uh, AI creations, the PTO creations from Entropy, I believe. And yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Plus, I have a, uh, a big mining ship from Lady Skelebro 
And I think this is going to be, uh, that's going to be spectacular. We're going to save that one for the end. But we have a rail gun here. Now, there's a rail gun. One of these is an AI rail gun. I want to assume, okay, that's the turret because you can see the seat. Uh, I haven't messed too much with the AI mod. We did a multiplayer Monday with the uh, AI cows, and they ran away from you. Now, question is, what does this do? Wait. No. No. No, that's not what this is. Is it tracking me? It's tracking me. Wait, does this thing shoot at you? Hold on. Uh. Should I feel threatened? Hold on. Oh. That is creepy. Okay, you know what? I've not played with too many AI mods. Uh, okay, there's gotta be a... Okay, it's got a laser beam on it. I see it's got spuds on it. No, 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 okay, it's not shooting at me. No, wait, what's that? No, 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 don't shoot lasers at me. Stop that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think we, we made it anger. Okay, let's go under the beam, under the beam. Oh, okay, over the beam. No, stop it. Wait, so this thing can track you. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's turn, let's turn you off. Stop hitting me. It's not, it's not funny. Stop. Okay, how do you turn it off now? I don't want it. Okay, we're gonna stand behind it. Yeah, this is maybe it's confusion spot. Okay, so if I were to get a, uh, say a plane or something, could this thing shoot me out of the sky? I would assume so. Hold on. I think I've got, I've got my red baron plane. Right, we could use that. All right, I'm gonna try to spawn this real quick before the, the thing eats it. Okay, stay away from my creation. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Okay, this is where I need to be. All right, let's hop up in the creation. We gotta take off before this thing starts hitting us. Actually, I think I gotta turn it on. Wait, or is it on? I don't know if it's on or not, hold on. I'll go this way, go this way. Are, are you on? Okay, okay, tracking laser. Is it? Okay, it's not on, so you have to hit this front button. Now it's tracking me with the laser. Okay, it's a laser cannon. All right, let's get moving. No, 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 don't hit my creation yet. Don't, no, stop it, no. Oh, take off, take off, go, 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 no, no. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, get up, get up. Oh, I think it hit something vital. Oh, no, 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 uh oh, uh oh, 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 I am, oh, I'm in bad shape right now. That thing's, oh, I can see lasers coming towards me. No. Hop out! Oh, we're gonna crash the game. We're gonna crash the game. That's that's what's gonna happen. No, no, no. Okay, hide behind the plane. Hide behind the plane. This is amazing. I want to learn how to work this mod. You know, I can picture this having, besides the whole fact that it's tracking me, uh, I think this has some other uh, uses. Uh, oh, okay. No, oh, can it track me behind the tree? Does it know I'm back here? Okay, I think we're safe. That is a that's a very cool mod. I do believe. Uh, I don't want to say for sure. I think it's Blue Flame that made this mod. Not unless this is a different AI mod. I just gotta get under it here real quick. Now there is another version of this, the one that doesn't attempt to kill you. Uh, there's a turret version, so let's go ahead and pull that out. All right, so here's the other rail gun. So this is the one that we can actually control. Well, this is nice looking. Uh, let's get in the seat here. All right, so there's the uh, the one laser that would raise up. Now that I don't think's actually doing damage. Okay, it does do damage. So it's got like a little counter. So if you look on the uh, left side, let's go and zoom in a little bit. Uh, okay, so that one's lit up. Does that one do anything? So I think it's just a top one. It says uh, WASD controlled. Once again, you can see the WASD mod. This mod either has gotten better or something happened with it. Because the first time I tried to use it, the controls were a little too delayed. Uh, for flight, but but I think it's gotten better. Ah, right, here we go. It's lighted up once again. Oh yeah, and yes, I think that's using the uh, the Brent Batch, maybe the laser mod. Uh, you'll see it's a uh, beam or some sort of laser mod that we actually use. We cut a building in half. Uh, it was a uh, really awesome. Yeah, you could use this for uh, several things. I think some sort of AI. I don't know how much it lags in multiplayer, but I think some sort of AI challenge where. You have to outrun the uh, the turrets would be cool. I don't know, as soon as they add some sort of life system uh, for health system for the character, I think that would be pretty awesome to line these up and maybe have like a little maze you have to get through. All right, so not only do we have AI turrets, supposedly I have an AI bug, which at first I thought it was like a Komodo creation, and then I realized it wasn't a burger, it's a big tick. And I believe this is the AI one. Uh, one of these is. Hold on, let's go ahead and spawn you. 
I'm really afraid of this because it's got it's got blades and oh that's nasty looking. Ugh. You can see the teeth there. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put that there. Okay. Is this the AI version? I'm afraid to get close to it. Is there a button I'm supposed to wait? I think that thing's tracking. Hold on. Might need to go back to the workshop and read about this one. What's this button do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's it doing? Is it... Is it tracking right now? Or is it just doing... Oh, it is tracking me. Okay. Okay, does this thing move? Oh, no, 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 not this again. I'm not getting killed in this episode. Ah! Ah! Okay, I didn't turn the blades on. It does have little saw blades. Dude, that's cool. Okay, so does the AI mod only attract to the player, or can you make it... I don't know. I think it would be cool to have, like, a town and have AI cars. I don't know if that's a thing, though. I'm trying to de debate on how this maybe works. It almost seems like it only goes after players. Wait, can we have two of these things battle to the death? Hold on, let's spawn in one more. This might get laggy. I don't know if these things are made out of... Oh, they are made out of the destructible pieces. Oh, that was a bad mistake. All right, let's turn the second one on. This might crash scrap mechanic. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, do they detect each other, or... Are they both just trying to turn... Oh, the blades just come on. Okay, I see that. Oh, this is laggy. Very, very laggy right now. Trying to see if they'll battle to the death, or they... Actually, I think they both just want to kill me. Okay, I'm gonna back off here. That is so neat. Like, I like this a whole lot. You know, I've got something that we might be able to... Or, do you really want to shoot the other one? Stop it! Stop it! Oh, no, 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 no! Dude! Its blades came out finally. I guess you have to get close enough to it. Okay. We're gonna stop you for a second. Okay, you stay on my lift. I got another one. It's same creator here. I think this is something we can man here. It's the PTO Roadkill. Now, this might crash the game. I'm not sure. But we're gonna battle back. Okay, get up in the seat. Get up in the... Oh, come on. Are you serious? Let me get up in this. Okay. Uh, which seat controls it? Is it down here? Okay. All right, so I got this other little battle creation. This one's just got a bunch of tools on it and stuff that hopefully we can battle back. Oh, are you kidding me? I think we're actually fighting back, but I can't really tell. I thought maybe this was a good idea, but apparently it wasn't. I don't know. I'm really, uh, really digging these entropy creations. Like, they're all very unique. Wait, it is battling back. It just ripped its, uh, it just ripped one of the wheels off. Huh. All right, so go ahead and remove that. You probably don't work too good without your wills, do you? Ooh, what's that sound? Oh, it's actually digging into the ground right now. Yep, I believe we have defeated the tick here. Let's go ahead and put this up here. There we go. Cool stuff. I'm really liking these uh, these AI mods, so no telling what they're going to be doing with this stuff next. All right, it's probably time we move on to the next creation here. All right, so we have the Cessna 208 float plane. This, okay, it looks like it's WASD. Curious of how this is going to work. I'm assuming it's using the WASD mod, or maybe it's hooked up a different way. You've got cruising speed, takeoff speed, okay. Escape hatch. That oh, looks pretty, I wouldn't say simple, but I think I can handle this. I'm not the best at flying, so... I'm assuming we can just go... Hold on, let's find a spot here. Okay, let's put this up. I am not going to be able to take off from this area, am I? Hold on, let's put that down. Look at that. It's floating. That's cool. Oh, boy. Yeah, these custom mods are getting just nutty. Oh. All right, let's get in the, uh, the banana air. I like it. Okay, let's see. Looking for, uh, where's the door at? There's gotta be a, is there a door hatch or am I supposed to just climb up in it? Maybe I'm supposed to just climb up in it. All right, let's just, we're gonna go through the window, folks. It's fine. All right, what's the inside of this look like? Oh, ooh. Yeah, okay, there's your WASD mod right there. I think we're supposed to not be in the co-pilot seat. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to run into so many trees here. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Uh, not too bad interior. I think I can handle this. Let's go ahead and go one. Okay, two. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Come on, get your lift. Get your lift. Why did I attempt this? 
Uh, okay. New idea. Let's go somewhere where I can actually do this. Uh, we might actually need to be going into a flat world. I'm not really sure. Oh, I should probably turn this thing off. All right, so I decided to try this somewhere where I can't die by tree. So this should work now. All right, so banana air. We're about to go airborne. Here we go. All right, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So I think, all right, one and two, that's going to be the way I think you take off. So you want to kill one. So now we're at cruising speed, I believe. So two's cruising speed, one is takeoff, and I think taxi speed. All right, pretty cool. You know, I guess this thing can work on land. It's got the wheels there. Man, this thing is stable. Now this is now this is using the uh, the flight mod or the wing mod, of course. You can see the uh, the flaps and stuff. And uh, wait, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yep, that's the invisible wall. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and hop back in this one more time. Uh, no, that's Copilot. Let's go in here. There we go. All right, so let's go one, two. We'll start to pull back. Yeah, it's one bad thing about the flat world. Of course, you don't know where the actual invisible wall is. It doesn't help that we do also have the water mod, which covers everything outside of the invisible wall, too. So it's like, where is the, uh, where's the wall at? So I'm assuming we should just do a constant turning. So it does have y'all controls, too. And then it looks like five is the escape hatch, and six is... I should probably read what six is. Is it one of the... No, the lights were already on. Huh. You know, I really... Okay, I just now realized that this is a banana. I was looking at it, and I was like, okay, well, it's it's banana air because it's yellow, and then I see the little, uh, the black tip back there. Yeah, it's, uh... It's shaped like a banana. How did I not see that? All right, so we're going to go back into takeoff speed. That way it speeds up. And we're gonna put this through its paces. Can we make this thing? Okay, maybe it can't do a flip. I'm trying to see. Uh, okay, maybe flipping's not a thing right now. Hold on. There we go. Let's try it. Going for the backflip. I'm pretty sure planes like this are not supposed to go through maneuvers like this at all. And... Oh! Okay. I think I've, <laughs> I've had enough flight here. You know... I'm really curious. Why is this thing so stable? I, I need it. No, 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 no. You're coming over here. Why is this thing so stable? I really need to take this thing apart. This is a uh, magnificent creation. Really enjoying this. So, yeah, Mr. Garbuckle, very awesome stuff. Let's move on to our oh, final creation. All right, final creation is the MISC Prospector. This is a mining spaceship from Lady Skelebro. It seems like Lady Skelebro has like a new ship every week and it's absolutely amazing don't know how he puts all these together but yeah this is cool so this is a mining laser uh oh oh i thought it was gonna crash the game there i'm assuming this is using the uh the brent batch laser mod or whatever that is uh or is there a new one i'm not really sure this is gorgeous looking hold on let's put this down okay is this like a vtol style ship i'm assuming uh actually wow that's actually pretty minimal. I really expected the uh, spider web to be a bit more crazy. That's a, it's a good thing, though, because we all know how lag and scrap mechanic get along, and how am I supposed to... Okay, maybe we need to use a little little assistance here. My guy's a little short. All right, so... Oh, <laughs> okay, just bumped my head on the top. It's fine. I'm okay. Just go up here. You know, I've actually gotten really used to Lady Skelebro's uh, controls as far as the way they do the... or he does the ships there. Let's close that. All right, so we're here in the laser. Okay, pretty minimal. Uh, we got a little bed here. You've got a nice looking uh, cockpit up here. Uh, there's a button back here. What's this? What did that? Did I just turn something on? Like, is that the way we activate the laser or something? Uh, okay. Is that an AD converter? I believe it's an AD converter on the wall. I guess we should just go ahead and just hop up here and see what the heck this does. Oh, okay, the laser's moving. Is this, does this have the AI mod? Is it tracking something? Uh, it could be, I don't know. Let's go and hit one. Okay, that's gonna, ooh, that is aggressive looking. Okay, two, there's your laser. Okay, that's spectacular. All right, let's go. Three's the door, four is, okay, it's landing gear. Sometimes he has his landing gear on the, uh, on sensors 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get up in the air here. Uh, are these on sensors? Uh, let's see if they raise up by themselves. They might not. Okay, so that's what it is. Five's your hover. Six is up. Four, there's your landing gear. Ah, and it moves those up, those back thrusters, which I don't even know if there's actual thrusters in there. Moves those forward. So you got your up, down. Now, which one's the forward? Is it seven? On. I'm a little confused now. So how does this thing move forward? You actually just, oh, you actually just tilt it forward. Oh. Oh, that's actually really nice. It's really stable looking too. Oh, no, 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 okay. I'm gonna, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to this one. This one actually feels a bit different. It doesn't have your traditional yaw feel, like where you just hit the AD and it just kind of turns itself. Uh, so this one, you actually do a bit of like the pitching and stuff. Uh, so if I were to turn for, let's get those landing gear back out. Is this going to make a difference here? Let's see. Okay, no, it still, it still turns the same way. So, yeah, it'd just be something that uh, you'd have to get used to, that tilting. Tilting's a little aggressive, but I like it. I think I'll get used to this. Uh, getting some altitude here. It's really, really nimble. A lot more nimble than I thought it was going to be. Uh, that roll, though. That roll's getting me, uh, it's getting me a little confused. Throw me off a little bit from the traditional controls, but... Nonetheless, pretty good. Right, let's go ahead and start going forward so we can fire that laser off again. Now, question is, what is it tracking? Like, it keeps moving. It's tending to go to the right here, but it is moving in certain ways. I, I don't really know. Uh, question is, once survival comes out, will you be able to utilize a ship like this? Say you can use mods in survival. Would you be able to attach something and actually cut down trees? Uh, with a ship like this, that would be, that would be really, really cool. Oh, 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 okay, turn the, turn the lasers off. I'll put those back up. Oh, no, 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 oh, and we just crashed it. I was doing decent there, and what is that? Is that a, wait a minute. Was I doing this wrong? On, um, one more try here. All right, I'm starting to learn to balance this thing out a little bit better. I had to kind of look at the underside. And just everything, I'm trying to see how everything works, where all the thrusters were actually located. It's a, a bit of a different control scheme, but I think once you get used to it, like, it's not too bad, actually. I like it. And I really like the way the ship looks, too. Like, aesthetically, very, very pleasing to look at. Uh, we're gonna put it down. Let's put the landing gear out. Alright, start to uh, tilt it forward. There we go. And boom. That was nice landing. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Hopefully you enjoyed this little creations episode here today. A very awesome creations. Be sure to check them out in the uh, description. And if you want to send anything over, I've got my Discord. It'll be linked down in the description also. You can join it. i uh, got a Scrap Mechanic channel in there for creations that might be featured on the channel here. So... Hope to see you guys relatively soon with a new project. Uh, we will still be doing the uh, creations episodes, as always. Uh, these are really fun for me to get to see what you guys have been putting together. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.